My hair has been through some things, heat damage, chemical damage, you name it, but now it's healthier than ever. So let's get into my hair journey. Hey girl, hey, long time no speak. I don't even have an excuse as to why I've been gone, but just know I'm back, okay? Back with a bang because I'm doing a two-in-one video. I will be doing this like bombshell blowout style on my natural hair. And then I am going to be going down memory lane talking to you guys about my entire hair journey from start to today. So boom, I have freshly washed and conditioned hair. Today, I'll be trying the wow um heat protecting this one is extra strength and it's the dream coat i love the time mode heat protecting that i got recently it has a great shine as well i will be using my revlon blow dryer if you've been following my hair videos lately you know that the front of my hair is a little shorter than the back so i'm going to be trimming these clip-ins that i got from curls queen just to give me a little more fullness yeah that's all that i'll probably be using along with these clips because i'm going to pin my hair as i blow dry so. i'm going to be exposing myself today as well with some pictures do not screenshot so boom fresh out the gate we're going all the way back to when i was a baby okay me as a young bull, okay? Hair was thick, hair was shiny, hair was healthy, hair was gorgeous, okay? The only person that was putting hands in my head when I was a baby was my mom. My mom is heavy-handed AF. That's probably why she was in so many fights as a child. Her hands went to work, okay? And they went to work on my scalp as well. I'm tender-headed. And her doing my hair used to hurt. Usually, I would get cornrows every Sunday. And that style was supposed to last throughout the week. Um, I was also an outside kid girl, so that didn't really last quite that long and doing my hair just started to be more of a struggle. Like everybody else's mom, she gave me a kitty perm. For special occasions, she would curl my hair up. I think I have a picture of when I went to a wedding. She loved to do flat twists when my when my hair was permed because it was so easy. So those days was mostly elementary and middle school. Let's get into high school. When I would go to the beauty salon with my grandmother, she used to take me like every two weeks to get my hair like pressed and trimmed. And then I would have to maintain my hair throughout those weeks. Do you wanna know what I was doing to my hair? I was straightening it. I cannot be the only girl that was obsessed with straightening her hair every single day and here's the whole kill i used to do sports y'all i played soccer i did cheerleading so straightening my hair with relaxer in my head on top of that was just killing my hair the worst part of my hair was the front because that's kind of what i like wanted to touch up you know if you wrap your hair at night nine times out of ten you wake up with a dent in your hair so i would press it i remember one time specifically i asked my mom to give me a trim okay i said that's my end but she didn't listen to me that day instead of trimming my ends she gave me a haircut and i'm talking a chop she gave me a mushroom bob y'all a mushroom bob i know i'm gonna find a picture of it because twitter got them archives a mushroom bob in high school is crazy i went to school in northeast i'm from dc y'all like a mushroom bob is insane and that's exactly what she gave me and she didn't even let me know until i looked in the mirror and saw my hair nah i wanted to like choke my mom that day like that i wanted to turn around and strangle her just a little bit so she could feel the pain that i was feeling i love you mommy if you ever see this video but girl you had me messed up why would you do that so y'all know what i did to save my little sister from going through things like this i told my mom to put locks on her hair and that's exactly what she got right now shout out to cassidy but yeah i'm like mom you need to stay out of people's heads because you don't listen now i have this at my neck bob length type of situation going on with the swoop in the front from then on i got braids i believe because i just hated the length of my hair it was so awkward i thought it was a very ugly haircut back then they was called box braids that's all i got going Oh wait, to college, I realized I wanted to step my game up and I wanted to look a little more sophisticated. And this is where a lot of sew-ins came into play, okay? I remember my cheerleading coach, my assistant cheerleading coach did really, really good sew-ins and I would go over to her house and get my hair done before going back to school. Like I was just frying my leave out every day. Sometimes I would do a middle part. Sometimes I would do a side part on my left side and then I would switch to do a side part on my right side trying to minimize how much damage I was putting on one part of my hair like what 
portion of my hair. Girl, next thing you know, the entire front of my hair is damaged. I also did all of my perimeter out in the front because I wanted my edges out. And then I also wanted to be able to put my hair in a ponytail. So I had her leave out the perimeter of the back in the back out as well. And that's where I messed up at, okay? I ain't gonna cap. I was having fun with my hair though. I remember I did different textures. I did a curly sew-in one day. Another time I played with bleach and I did like a my version of a bleach bath back then and the ends were blonde like i was getting into it okay but still in the end i was damaging my hair so y'all if y'all hear any noise in the background they're doing construction outside my apartment i started getting into wigs and i started getting into slick backs i'm still obsessed with slick backs to this day but i am currently dealing with ponytail damage i don't know if you ever heard of it or not but it definitely exists the amount of tension that you're putting on your hair when you stretch it back when you stretch it up it's stretching your hair out literally you're stretching your hair out as you mold it back into the ponytail so i'm gonna show you guys my hair in a second um because you'll be able to see exactly what i'm talking about girl i was doing wigs because i wanted to do wig reviews so at first i was paying for my wigs and then the more i did Hair videos, the more opportunities I got with sponsorships and people actually started to pay me to review their wigs. I remember I had a Eunice wig um, and I love that wig down, girl. It was a curly unit, I think. But at first I didn't know how to lay the lace. So of course I had to learn. And Ooh. in the beginning I was getting the cheapest wigs I could find because like I said, broke college student. But eventually we got it together, girl, and my little wigs was cute, okay? My little wigs is cute. Um, I'm about to go ahead and put the products in that I showed y'all earlier. And I'm also going to show you my um my ponytail damage. So boom, right here. You can see pony damage, ponytail damage right here. The hair is limp, not much curl. If I lay off the ponytails and I continue to trim my ends and I continue to do like bone repairs. Uh, I love the one from Olaplex. I'll be able to get my hair looking like this again. But over the course of me wearing wigs, my hair started to get back into its into a better state. When I first graduated college, at this point, my hair is back in its natural state. My hair was in a better state than it is now. I remember one time I took a picture for Timmy for a sponsorship and my puff was so beautiful okay i was doing so many natural hairstyles for youtube as well i was the only one maintaining my hair's health right and i remember one year it was christmas time and i wanted to straighten my hair okay i hadn't straightened my hair in so long i wanted to see i wanted to do a length check okay and i remember i filmed a video for it and i'm gonna find it in my um instagram archives because i know i still got it Girl, I straightened my hair out for Christmas and I remember I put in these tight curls and my hair after that was never the same. It was never the same. And I used heat protectant. It just must have been too much heat at once. I remember I cried. I was so sad. So I was like, dang, I finally got my hair back to a good point and it's ruined in one day. So, yeah, really, I have still been recovering from all that he did and all of the split ends that resulted from that as well as ponytail damage. And that's why recently I was showing you guys my transition phase, basically, because the ends were terrible, but the top of my hair was healthy and I just didn't want to commit to chopping all my hair off at once. And I... Finally took that advice and did a big chop. I filmed that for y'all. It's a video on it. And now my hair has grown out from the big chop. So now that I got product all in this side of my hair, I'm going to blow it out. I'm going to give myself a break from talking because I've been talking y'all ear off. So yeah, girl, watch me blow out my hair while I play some tunes. <music> Everybody wanna say shit I don't care what they say about us now mm. yeah. I don't wanna have no conversation They just wanna fuck it all up now yeah. 
I like bad bitches, mad bitches. If you ain't one hundred, then you can't sit with us. Then you can't sit with us. I like bad bitches, mad bitches. If you ain't one hundred, then you can't sit with us. Hear that? Everybody swear they know about us, but you only know what I told ya. You only know what I show ya. I lost too many soldiers on my heads up. We only get older. You only get older. I like bad bitches, bad bitches. If you ain't one hundred, then you can't sit with us. Then you can't sit with us. I like bad bitches, bad bitches. If you ain't one hundred, then you can't sit with us. tips and tricks for keeping long healthy hair y'all got dandruff i don't appreciate that the next time i do a, a shampoo and condish i'm going to use one that's really good for the scalp because no way jose i get dandruff every single time the the winter comes though it's just because it's a dry season in many ways your hair is gonna grow okay that's what i want everyone to know your hair is gonna grow just how you shave your punani and the hair grows back in the next business day your hair is gonna grow i bring that up to talk about products because there's not one holy grail product that i can tell you guys to go and use to get long hair like your hair is gonna grow it's all about how you are retaining your length so yeah, going back to products, I will tell you that you need to stay away from certain things like sulfates and parabens, da da da. I feel like at this point we all know that. And I will say in terms of oils, I make my own oil. Hello. Uh, and that contains chebe oil. And chebe oil has helped my hair remain full and thick. Hello, as you can see. Chebe oil is really, really good. I get it from this wholesaler that sells like African products. And if you have damage like I do then you need to get products like bond repairs repairs and things like that that can repair your hair as you're growing it out you just need a regimen okay retaining your length if you have any type of damage towards your ends you need to be cutting those ends off okay because if not your ends will continue to break up the shed so let's say we got a piece of thread right and the thread starts to break at the bottom and then you pull and you snug at it what's going to happen to the thread the hit the thread is going to continue to unravel up the shaft of the thread that's exactly how your hair responds to split ends i do it like every three months i think that's a really good way to look at it so really all you need is a really good trim four times a year so yeah just to reiterate 
making sure that you use products that work for your hair and keeping up with them, keeping up with your hair care regimen, getting rid of any type of split ends, any type of damage, just get rid of it. That's what I suggest. I know it's hard to do. I know some people like to go through a transitional phase and that's all about your preference and what you think is going to be best for your hair, but I say get rid of it. Stop expecting your hair to thrive if it's in a damaged state. Get rid of the damage. Another thing is protective styles, okay? And I want y'all to stop thinking that all protective styles are actually protecting your hair. A lot of people think slip backs and ponytails are protective, but we already discussed ponytail damage and it's a real thing. Some people think that doing sew-ins, wigs, like adding extensions basically is the way to go. It, and it only depends on how you're getting it done. So if you're getting it by a professional that is actually braiding your hair down in a moisturized state, okay, with like a buttercream to make sure that your hair is moisturized underneath your cap and things like that, oiling your scalp paying attention to your scalp's health is very important as well all that is important so if you're doing that constantly throughout like in between your styles then good but if you are having your braid down for five six seven months at a time and you're not taking care of your hair underneath it's not a protective style you're actually damaging your hair and you're putting other hair on top of it thinking that it's all good nah it's not how it works things that actually protect your hair are like mini twists and oiling your mini twists and keeping them moisturized while you're wearing them. Mini twists, braid out, twist out. All those styles make you look childish. So I know a lot of people aren't going to really want to wear them all the time. I know I don't. But if I know I'm not seeing nobody, I'm not filming a video no time soon, I don't have many meetings on my calendar for work, I'm putting my hair in two braids. I'm putting my hair in like 12 mini twists all over my head and then pulling them into like a loose bun. Um, I'm doing things like that in between my real styles because those are the things that grow your hair. Your hair is going to thrive when it's moisturized. Your hair is not going to thrive when it's dry. So I've been doing those buns where I just drench and coat my hair in moisture. And that's how I walk around the house. And that's what's been helping my hair. Um, My hair is not perfect. I got a long way to go. Y'all know that. So yeah, that's really it in terms of the things that... I've been doing and the things that I just wanted to stress to y'all when it comes to taking care of your natural hair girl so I hope y'all enjoyed the style and I hope you enjoyed seeing all my crazy pictures from my hair journey I'm about to go take a photo for my thumbnail and I'm gonna come back and show y'all how I wrap my hair okay boom in order to wrap your hair you are going to need a stalking cap okay if you are right-handed you should go towards the right and if you're left-handed, you should go towards the left. Basically, what I'm going to do is brush all my hair out first. You want to make sure you don't have no tangles. Start brushing in the direction that you want it to lay. And I'm just going to brush my hair towards the side and around my ear. And then you're going to start wrapping it around your head, right? So this is what you should have so far. You just want to keep doing this motion and work your way towards the other side of your head. And then I switch and I start pushing my hair towards the front. You want to use this side part or your middle part, whatever part you're using as your guide. Because you're going to switch your hand again. You're still holding on to the hair. But now I like to put my hand where my part is as I brush. And I like to have, I like to have gravity help me. So I lay my hair down and brush, 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 and I start to brush this hair into the hair that's already laying down. But you don't want to disrupt the hair too much, so be careful. And I'll leave my edges out because I want them to be out. And then I get my cap. Open your cap up. So I like to put my hand in the cap. So I can open it up. You're going to place, you're going to switch hands. So now this hand is free, and you're going to take your cap. You're going to put it on your hair. Now you're going to stuff all your hair into the cap. And to make sure that your hair is all laying down nicely, you want to start rolling the cap. In the direction that you wrapped your hair, you want to roll the cap. And boom, bookie, your hair is right. I'm going to put my little bonnet on, honey. Make sure you tuck in your edges and, and boom, you're good to go. <laughs> Tell me you'll never wanna lose me